day one of Lake Murray. This has been a weird one as far as practice goes. I have not got many bites any day of practice. Got one place I'm going to start on that is hopefully they're going to be there and be schooling. And then after that, we're going to be just running around doing a lot of sight fishing, sight fishing for cruisers, just trying to do whatever we can do to put our bait in front of as many big ones as possible because every one of them you throw in front of absolutely does not bite. So we're going to lean on some bed fish a little bit. They're not as big as the cruisers, but them cruisers, if we could get them to bite somehow, if we could figure out how to make them bite, that's going to be our good bag, you know? So that's what we're going to try to do a decent chunk of the day and just kind of fill it out and see how it's going. But, you know, I'm going to have to lean on the bed fish some though as kind of a backup plan. Got a couple big ones on bed that I'm going to go to for sure and then mess with them cruisers. So it's going to be a fun day. How are you doing? Good morning. How are y'all this morning? That sounds so crazy. Usually you have a backup plan for the bed fish. Is this like super risky? So like cruisers are kind of risky and then on top of that your your bed fish is your backup plan? <laughs> yeah. Like this this is a I'm shaking in my boots right now. This is risky. But there's a lot of them on bed, like a lot. And they're small, the reason I'm saying they're a backup plan. If they if I thought I could go catch me, you know. 23 pounds off bed that'd be my first plan i didn't see that unless they're a lot bigger than i think they are because a lot of them are spawning pretty deep but uh i feel like well what i found on bed besides the real big ones you know like i got a couple big females but besides those i feel like most of what i found if i found all the if i caught the five or six biggest males i had it'd be 15 or 16 pounds it looks like so hopefully they're bigger than I think they are, but the cruisers are kind of real big. Do I go left? Get right behind that line right there with those and go down that aisle with them. Okay. Turn right on the so, road that's a good point, Hunter. Usually we got bedfish and then a backup plan for bedfish. This week, the bedfish are the backup plan. A little sketch. Just trying to turn everything on. For some reason, I was thinking I don't have my proper inch. What's going on? You're doing good, brother. Doing good. Your partner's standing right over in that parking lot. Oh, really? Yeah, I told him to tell you. I said, huh? So I need to call him. Yeah, he's standing right over in that parking lot. Let me catch up with Alex. Should I bust a J's out? Oh, yep. This is so loud. I couldn't even hear myself backing down the ramp. I know. And I needed like my brain to be able to hear myself think. This is going to do it right here. That's going to do it. All right, Lake Murray is going to start There's here in about 20 minutes. Lake, you know, this place has a ton catch. of big yeah, ones, and they're up shallow. They're swimming around, today, but they're tough to get to bite. So bite. today, um, we got to try to make them bite. Like we, we're going to be looking at a bunch of big ones. Yeah, All we got to do is get them to open their mouth like, three just, or four times today. Too many so, three so we need. Six to eight months has really been showing out. You know, the weights have been incredible. Probably as high as I remember since being a kid. So. The 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series, the Marathon Bassmaster Elite at Lake Murray. 30 seconds. From Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walters. And from Brookville, Indiana, Dollar Bill Owen. The Bassmaster Classic Qualifier from Alabama.
start. One pounder. in the mouth. A little bigger than the other one. Yep. <laughs> I think he's the smallest one in here. That'd be the kind of thing. This is the mouth. Yeah. A little bit better one. That's the same fish? Yes. Is it? I lost one of them. I ain't big as I thought by no means. See them black spots all over? Mm -hmm. God, I thought it was a freaking big. How the hell is my drag loose? I thought you said something about grass. I was like, I ain't got the right rod. I picked up the wrong rod. I saw that hook and I was like, what the hell is that? I would have came straight to this one if I knew it was that big. But it is a three pounder. They look like big bass. Oh yeah. That was something big. Barely though. Heard that time, big dog. That 
definitely gonna cold. Yes, sir. My heart is <laughs> pounding. That didn't take long, though. I mean, I, I love bed fishing. Long. If they'll stay, I will catch them. Yeah. Like, I, I, this is my favorite thing to do. When they're spawning at home, I go every day and I do it on different lakes, different places. Like, this is, I feel like this is one of my deals, you know? This two pounder and I went to it, it was 360. <laughs> A lot better, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Look at this meathead. <laughs> yeah. that, was one, that was one of the ones yesterday that I said I could have caught. Yeah. Well, some pretty colors on fish. Ain't yeah, they fat. Yeah, you got some fish. <laughs> 72 and a half. I, I saw today, I was going. 71.8, I was like, well, I can't pass him. I just, uh, oh, God. Hey, Tom, I'm not gonna lie. I was shaking my boots at about nine o'clock. Oh, me too. But, I had to bite early. Early. Look at that baby right there. Is that a spot? No. It kind of looks spotty. I had that one marked as a two pounder. My, my graph said two pounds, very easy. Because <laughs> it? it was 360, but I knew it. I was like, I only got four. It I'll, said on it very easy. Yeah, I, I wrote it. I wrote easy. I kind of knew it was going to bite. It, but it bit first cast and then it bit second cast. And here's what happened I pulled up to it and looked down, just picked up a rod, and I threw a swim bait in there by accident instead of my bed fishing bait. Did you get it on? Yeah, it just free, it ate it. I, like, I, I hooked a fish, my drag slipped. I was like, what's wrong with my damn drag? So I swing it in the boat. And I grab it and it's got the wrong bait in his mouth. You were lying to me right now. You fished this swim bait like a, like a preacher bait? I didn't have time. It hit, the, it hit the bed and the fish just came out. And then I was like, damn, I spooked him. And I picked up my line was just going. It ate it. <laughs> it, was, oh, it was easy. Probably back the next two by back. All of yeah. All of them I have are pretty easy. You must have did had you go, seven did... Yeah. I sat there high and high. Right. Kyle, did you find five more for tomorrow? Yeah, but they're not big enough. What are they? Yeah, two pounds, very easy. Ain't that enough? I got one. I might should have caught. It, it, it might be. It might be big. Three twenty. I, I called one that was two ninety. I wish I'd left it, but I called it. It was like my third fish. I called it early. Uh, Al Welcher with five fish here today. Another good bag of fish. 18 pounds, 13 ounces. He moves into fifth place currently. That one over 16. Nah. 13. <laughs> so fifth place right now and a, a good start here this week. Yeah, definitely. You know, this lake has the potential. Like what I tried to do did not work and that was actually my backup plan. So that's like the best backup plan I've ever had. So, I mean, I'll definitely take it. Things are happening fast out here. You can see the fish. This place has potential. It's going to bust wide open for this tournament over with. And I just hope I can stay in there long enough to see it go down this weekend. Love to have you here all the way through to Sunday. Keep it rolling. Kyle. <laughs> How was your day today? <laughs> it didn't go as planned. So. I planned on kept fishing for cruisers a good bit of the day if I could get it to work. I could not get it to work, so I had to back up and fish for bedfish, which ended up catching 18 something. And, uh, you know, had all fish over three pounds, just only had one big one. So I saw a lot of really big ones, some four or five, even bigger fish, but couldn't get them to bite. Literally got zero of them to bite that I threw at that was cruising. So that's a new record for me, I think. Zero cruisers in a day when I threw it. 60 probably so better catch them tomorrow